Today we're going to be showing you the best tips and tricks for the new iPhone 10. Let's take a look. The first tip we're going to show you is how to use an emoji in your text messages. Obviously this is something you're going to want to use right away, so here's how it works. You're going to want to tap the little apps icon in your messages and then go to this little an emoji icon right here. And as you can see, it will detect your face like so and it'll map out your face. All you have to do is click record and watch this. This is a new an emoji. And then you can play it back. An emoji. Just like this. This is a new an emoji. And then you just have to click send. And as you can see, it will then send that an emoji to the person you're talking with. Now there's a lot of different an emojis to choose from and you can use these to share with your friends and have a really cool effect. So the next tip is one that you can actually use right now if you're watching this on an iPhone 10. And this is the ability to make a video you're playing fit the full screen of the iPhone. Now for instance, if you're watching a video like this one, which is the best rewards apps for iOS 11, uh, I actually recommend watching this video. It shows you how you can earn gift cards and cash um, on your iPhone right now. So there's a link in the cards and, and down in the description. But anyways, if you're watching a video, here's what you can do. As you can see, it's typically like this. It's letterboxed. Um, it doesn't actually fit the full screen. But in order to get it to the full screen size, all you have to do is swipe out like so, and as you can see, it fills the entirety of the iPhone 10 screen, making a much better viewing experience on your iPhone. Now, you've, of course, you can always go back to the original or zoom back in at any time. All right, let's take a look at the next tip. All right, let's take a look at a couple of quick tips and tricks. Uh, the first, of course, is to take a screenshot. All you have to do is press the side button and the volume up button quickly at the same time and it automatically takes a screenshot of your screen for you. You can, of course, go in and edit it, um, draw as you'd like, kind of point things out um, just like so. And then, of course, it saves directly to photos. Now, another quick tip that I wanted to point out is with your battery life. As you can see at the top of the screen, you can't actually see the percentage that your battery's charged. All you need to do to see this is just swipe down to access your control center, and you can see the battery percentage right there. Now I'm going to show you some tips and tricks in terms of Face ID uh, that you can use right here on your iPhone 10. So what you're going to want to do is open up your settings and then you're going to scroll until you see Face ID and passcode, which is uh, right there. And just put in your passcode. I just did a dummy one. Uh, obviously do something a little bit more complicated for your own code. Um, and if you take a look here, you can actually reset your Face ID if you need to do it again just by clicking Reset Face ID. And you can also choose what you want to use Face ID for. So maybe you don't want to have it be iTunes and Apple Pay or Safari. Um, maybe you want everything enabled, everything disabled. Right here in Face ID and Passcode is where you can um, adjust this. You can also change how soon people need to put in your passcode, um, whether you, know, you want it to automatically remember or not. Now with Face ID, it matters a little bit less because you're actually looking at the device, so it'll automatically log you in um, if you're looking at it. All right, let's take a look at some of the gestures that you have on the iPhone 10. All right, let's take a look at a crash course in the gestures that have now taken place on your iPhone 10. This is a little different than past iPhones, so I just want to point them all out. You probably know some of them already, but I just want to share all of them with you. So, of course, the first is from the top right down, um, you can access the control center. From the top left down, you can access your notifications and lock screen. Now, if you want to exit an app, all you have to do is swipe up from the bottom. And if you actually want to switch to the last app, you just take this little bar and you swipe to the last app, just like so. As you can see, you can swipe through all of your apps just by accessing this bar at the bottom, just like that. Swipe up to get rid of it. Now, if you're looking to multitask, all you have to do is swipe up and then hold and as you can see, you can access the rest of your pages. Now for the quick multitask, of course, is swiping at the bottom um, quickly to go to the last one, but this is regular multitask where you can go and see what you wanna open. And you can also close tabs just by pressing like so, just press on it. 
and then as you can see, it pops up the red delete and just delete it like so, so you can close the instance of each app. Now in order to access Siri, just press and hold on the side button. As you can see, Siri pops up just like that. We already showed you how to get the screenshot by pressing the side button and the volume up at the same time, just like so. Now if you're looking to power off your phone, just hold that same configuration. And as you can see, you can slide the power off. Now I also wanted to show you emergency SOS. If you're in an emergency situation, this could potentially save you from a dangerous situation. Hopefully you never have to use it, but knowing that this is here as well, it'll automatically contact emergency personnel and notify your emergency contacts that you had to seek uh, emergency help. Now you can set up your emergency contacts in health and it actually sends them a text to let them know that you called for an emergency. The other thing I recommend doing is also setting up an emergency SOS in your settings, also works with five clicks. By default, this is off. You wanna turn this on. And what that means is when you click this side button five times in, in succession, it will actually automatically call emergency services for you and alert your emergency contacts that you needed to call them. Now, of course, hopefully you never have to use this, but this could save you in a potentially dangerous situation. So I highly recommend everyone watching this right now to go in, uh, go to settings, emergency SOS, and enable both of these features just to be safe and just to be prepared. All right, let's take a look at the next tip and trick. The iPhone 10 is now equipped with tap to wake, which means you no longer have to press uh, your power button or side button in this matter to turn on the phone. All you have to do is simply tap and it'll turn on. That makes it very easy and very simple to just take a look at any notifications you have and of course check the time if you need to. Just tap and it turns on. All right, we've just shown you some amazing tips and tricks on how to use your iPhone 10, and don't worry, we have a lot more in just a second. But first, I wanted to show you this episode's sponsor, which is an amazing application called Quick Thoughts. Now, this app allows you to earn cash and rewards just by taking simple surveys on your phone. Now, you're gonna to wanna to follow along and download this app because they've given out millions of dollars in prizes. So here's how to download. You're gonna open up your mobile Safari browser and go to this exact URL. The URL is right here on the screen and down there in the description. It's bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash get quick thoughts. Just like this, B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T-Q-U-I-C-K-T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S and then click go. Then click open in the app store and it's gonna take you to the Quick Thoughts app. Now you wanna use that link because it helps support our show, but it also allows you to get the best intro bonus when you sign up right now for Quick Thoughts. So make sure you then go and download and we're gonna skip past this step and take a look at the app once it's done downloading. Once the app is done downloading, you'll be able to sign up as a new user. Now, as you can see, they love your opinions and they'll pay you just for taking simple surveys on your phone. So let's sign up and take a look inside. Once you've created a new account, you can see that Quick Thoughts members have already earned over $8.5 million. That's amazing. And they get this just by completing Quick Surveys in order to get this as gift card rewards, even PayPal cash rewards. So be sure to go to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts so that you can start earning rewards right now. Just complete your profile, start taking some surveys so you can start earning cash and gift cards right on your iPhone. Now again, the link's right here on the screen, bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. It's also down there in the description. It helps to support our show, but also helps to support you earning amazing prizes and gift cards right from the luxury of your own phone. All right, let's take a look at some more tips, tricks, and hidden features. If your iPhone's not working and you need to force restart because you can't actually turn it off manually by using the slide to power off, then you need to force restart your phone. And the way to do that is to follow these steps. First, press the volume up, then the volume down, and then press and hold the side button for 10 seconds. 
And what this will do is it will turn off your phone with a force reset, just like so. Now, the reason that you might wanna do this or need to do this is say your phone's acting up and there's no way that you can actually slide to power off, which is of course by pressing and holding the volume up and the side button at the same time, slide to power off. That's what you should usually do. Uh, at least do that once a month. Um, maybe try to do it once a week if possible, just to recycle your phone, keep it fresh. But if that's not possible, if your phone is frozen and not working, then you might need to take that step to force restart, which of course is pressing volume up, volume down, and then pressing and holding the side button for 10 seconds. Finally, we're gonna show you how you can use portrait mode on your iPhone 10, and this allows you to take much better selfies, much better photos, uh, blurring the background, adding effects to your face, making it look a lot more crisp, smooth, and awesome. So let's take a look at how that works. You're gonna go into your camera, and instead of taking a regular photo, you just swipe over to portrait and now this will automatically be selected. Now let's take a look at a photo I already took in portrait mode to take a look at how this works. As you can see, uh, in this photo, uh, this is without portrait mode. As you can see, the background um, is very clear. In portrait mode, it blurs the background and it makes the emphasis on yourself. Uh, now this isn't some kind of studio shoot. I just did this um, right here, obviously, in our filming room. Um, but you can take a look here and just move it around to studio lighting, change it to contour lighting, uh, change it to stage light, which is just yourself. Uh, and then of course you can have stage light mono as well, uh, which makes it just black and white. Um, but definitely really much like uh, the way that portrait mode works, making the photo really have that emphasis on yourself and it's sure to make your photos look that much better. All right, those were the best tips and tricks for your iPhone 10. If you guys learned something new, be sure to give a like on this video and share it with your friends so they can see the best tips and tricks as well. Now, if you're looking for even more features for your iPhone, I recommend watching our iPhone 10 hidden features video, which shows you how you can set up all kinds of hidden features, such as the virtual home button, just like that. As you can see, this is a little home button that you can use right here on your iPhone. So this and many more hidden features, 10 total, you can click the link right up here in the cards or down in the description to take a look at some more amazing hidden features that you can use for your iPhone 10. As you can see, you just have to tap the button, you can go home, you can access Control Center, Siri, and more. It's your own virtual home button for your device. So I recommend taking a look at that video. Also be sure to download Quick Thoughts so that you can start earning cash and rewards just by completing simple surveys on your phone. Again, the members have already earned over $8.5 million so far with this one simple app. So I recommend going to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. Link of course is on the screen and in the description to get started so you can earn gift cards and cash back as well just by completing simple surveys. All right, thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate your support. Let us know what your favorite tips and tricks are in the comments below. Download Quick Thoughts, and of course, take a look at the best hidden features for the iPhone 10 video as well. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.